Hello and welcome to the Switch Underground. My name is Danny. Today we're going to be taking a look at a game that I kickstarted a long time ago called Battle Axe. Now, it came out digitally a little bit ago, but the physical edition is what we've been waiting on. And uh, this is it, dude. The badge edition is the one that I got. And uh, it's coming in, the, in this uh, collector's box here. Got a little artwork, some information about the game on the back. Uh, came with a soundtrack. They do this a lot with the uh, collector's editions here. And uh, a little CD in there. The art is fantastic. I will give it that. And now the badge part is it comes in this little book. And then you open the book. And the badges are inside. And these are, of course, just little pins like you get with a lot of these. And uh, they'll probably sit in here forever and I will never touch them. But they are nice to look at. And the painting is pretty good. Uh, on most of them, the battle axe specifically there is a little little funky, but that's okay. Uh, it also came with a bunch of stickers that um, you just hopefully never let my son uh, access. And of course, the game itself. The physical edition of the game, obviously it's a little in the Switch right now, but it's got some uh, interior work there. You don't see that a lot these days. One thing this game is missing is a manual, because we'll see why here in a minute. So let's take a look at the game. So it's a one or two players local uh, co-op there. I played with my kid the other day to get a taste for it and see how it ran and it's pretty fun. So we're gonna go with the one player experience here. So you have arcade mode and infinite mode. I don't know the difference. I assume arcade mode has an ending. So you click arcade mode, you can choose your character. Uh, we can see it's kind of like pixely art here. And you've got these little voices every time you switch, Rooney. I don't know his name. The Druid, the Dark Elf, and I want is that Marauder? I don't know, it's a little hard to read. So my favorite is actually the wizard guy, but everybody picks the wizard guy to showcase, so we'll showcase this guy. Because he's pretty cool too. So you get in here, it's top down, you can shoot stuff, you can hit stuff, and you can dash through stuff. And the gameplay is fast and furious and it gets pretty crazy so you can see I have to uh, rescue some dudes there in the bottom and these are kind of like little hostage guys mm -hmm. now one thing that's interesting is you see all these like people that you rescue I believe these are the names of the backers so I technically should be in this game somewhere I'm guessing because at some point in my rewards I filled out uh, being able to pick a name that I wanted for my character to be in the game. So it's kind of a cool idea. So it's um, not forgiving, man. I mean, you have to blow these things up. You got to shoot all these dudes. You have little chests that you can open to give you items and you collect coins. And ooh, I should use my chicken. Wait, do I not have the chicken anymore? Oh, bummer. And I don't know what the gems do. I think the red thing in the top there is like your combo meter. Man, we are doing just bad. We should probably focus a little bit here, huh? Now, you don't have to actually rescue everybody to get to the bosses and beat the levels. Um, but I'm assuming it's a nice perk and add to your score. So at the top, we see we can use an item. Uh, right now, we have a bomb equipped. We're actually going to save that for the boss because uh, the boss is tricky. Can I carry two bombs? That's a big negative. Let's use one then. First, we gotta go find something to blow up. But I know a lot of people were concerned about uh, the performance of this game, and rightly so. The Switch doesn't have the greatest track record. But uh, I mean, as you can see, it runs great, dude. Uh, definitely a pleasurable experience. Oh, my bomb disappeared. Are you serious? You turds. I missed it. So the, the way it works is uh, you go through these like arcadey levels and from what I understand you only have I mean I have two lives up there right and those are actually shared when you're playing co-op so you can each die once. Thanks. My son's like oh they're British. Thanks love is you know what he would say. Um, it doesn't, I don't believe the maps are randomized, but I could be wrong about that. 
You gotta kill those little power towers to like get rid of some of these guys. One thing that's a, a little funky is that you only have like four directions that you can kind of shoot. So if you're not in line of sight of the monster that you're trying to shoot or hit, they will smack you and you'll miss. So be careful and don't get blown up by that. But these guys, dude, we'll just dash through them and take them out. Oh, smash these. Easy peasy, dude. But as you can see, we're almost dead. So taking this boss out, probably going to be tricky. We might die, but that's okay. Wow, see, I was like running towards that guy, but I didn't hit him because he wasn't just so. And that, that kind of bugs me a little bit, I can't lie. Cat pee. Oh my god. You know, actually, when I was playing this with my kid, I didn't put it together that these hostages are probably the Kickstarter backers, so I wasn't ever looking at the names, but now I'm looking at the names all the time. Yeah, these levels must be randomized, because I don't remember this layout. But I mean, the music's nice. It's got a really cool old, like, OG arcade feel to it, which is exactly what I was after. The most powerful character by far is the wizard. Oh my god, he just decimates everything. Uh, 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 clearly we are lost here. Where did we mess up? I guess we're just going to run around here forever. Um, I also got uh, R-Type the final. R-Type final 2. Is that the official title? I don't know. So we'll be taking a look at that as well. That came in from uh, from Best Buy last Friday, I think. And uh, Trev wasn't so keen on it. I tried the demo. I thought it was awesome. Really hard, though. And it seemed like you, if you died, you were done. And I don't know how I feel about that. But we are just wandering around the ether here. What is going on? Oh, the boss was like right up here. We didn't even know. So this is the first boss. Now it's important to note that um, when uh, when you're out of lives, that's it. You got to start over. We're gonna start using our dashboard to get out of that. So he takes a shot. We're gonna take our shots. Get decimated. The second boss is way easier. Done. Stage clear. Your time to kills, you get a rank, you know, some classic stuff. And then in the interim between uh, levels, you get to come visit this lady that wants to like sell you goods. And these are actually, um, these are upgrades, but there's no explanation about what the H they actually do. So you can buy some chicken that will restore one, one actual like point of like hit points. Or you can buy this scroll, which is really good at like um, doing a bunch of AOE damage. Goodbye. Goodbye. So the forgotten, the forgotten mines. So enemy types change. It all kind of changes. Uh, we've beaten stage two and made it to stage three, but never got further than that. And one thing that's cool about this game is, like, you can easily just jump in. I mean, the time commitment is, like, you know, five or ten minutes of stage. You can put your switch down if you want, come back. And it's okay. As far as, like, actual progression goes, I haven't seen anything that's, like, you know, that, that's lasting. So it seems like you're in and out. Just like you were at an arcade pumping in coins, right? Like, it doesn't actually, like, save anything, or... Not that I can see, but I could be wrong. I haven't played nearly enough to know that for certain. But I have played enough to know that it's pretty dang fun. And when you get two people in here, like, doing co-op stuff, it just gets gnarly. It's also way easier with multiple people as well. And I believe there are difficulty settings. I probably have it on easy right now. Can I change that right now? You can have a CRT shader if you want. No. 
And vibration, whatever. God, I am just getting, getting annihilated. So uh, I just used my chicken there. Give me one health bar. And I promptly lost it. The axed meister, dude. Oh, watch out for that. Man, that, that thing gets me every time. I gotta remember to dash through it, because I only have one life to live. Gotta be careful of those ones, man. All right, we're going over here. So I can only imagine how like the later levels in the game get really intense. Those freaking tentacles, dude. It's always the tentacles that get you. See, I feel like the hitbox on like the uh, cannon there should definitely be a little more forgiving. Because, dude, that guy was right in front of me. I was shooting him. Come on. Alright. So, we gotta destroy that. Oh, see, I didn't need to take a hit there either. Alright, how do I get down there? Not that way. Down this way, maybe? Nope. Ooh, there's some stairs, though. Give me something good I can use. Oh, that... That's a good potion. That potion will actually give you almost all of your life back. In fact, we're going to use it right now. And I think it's like with a lot of other games like uh, Gungeon and stuff. It's like kind of a, you know, your skill just goes up the more you play it. Big Beaver. I'm so happy that I made this realization to look at the names of all these guys. So, I don't know if they're random or what... But, uh, I'm curious if I show up and where. See, going after that skeleton, I was there, dude. Come on. I'm gonna die. And I'm dead. The adventure is ending. Well, we did terrible. Well, let's try another character while we're here. Like I said, everybody does the wizard, so we'll try the Dark Elf. She has actually a pretty cool spin attack. But as you can see, you gotta start all over, dude. But she does a lot of damage. So she's more of a get up in your face character. Little chur, little chur. Yeah, those are random, dude. Totally. So her thing's kind of tricky because her dagger only comes back when she hits something. So unlike the wizard and the cannon guy, you gotta actually wait. But then you can do shit like that, dude, which is awesome. So I mean, this character is easily a, a runner-up to being one of my favorites. Okay, can you can you not? But as long as you're like quick to like get close to these guys and start whacking away. You're pretty good. But I mean, this is the game. I know so many people were asking, you know, how does it perform and stuff. Malik. Hey, Malik. So, it's important that I make this. And here we are. Did I just get hit by something? I don't know what it was. Steve. Get out of my face, you flyer. So yeah, this doesn't seem random at all, does it? Like, this is kind of the same layout that we had before. Oh, I see. Get out of my face. The only thing that's going to be a little tricky is fighting the boss, because I, I don't think you can actually hit it, like, physically. Alright, let's round these guys together. Let's pull our Diablo 3 skills. Get that going. I think the boss is over there, but we're going to go over here and check out these names. Steve, Majin, and Lucas 7 Twist. With a twist. Alright. So now that we're professionals, let's go fight this boss. You know what? We might actually just... Okay. Don't hit me with that. In my face. 
Her dagger does a lot of damage, though. Which is good. Oh, okay. Those guys do come out of their tower and do that. Just turns. So we have two life. Let's see if we can smack that barrel and have it do our dirty work. You know, it's kind of funny. I was playing this with my son, like I said, and I and I said, uh, let me be in front, Dominic. I'll do the dirty work. And now, all of a sudden, he says dirty work about everything. I'm like, boy, I don't, I don't think you know... I don't think you know what it is you're saying here. But he doesn't care. He's six. Oh, it'll be young again. He's at, he's at a cool age where, like... Oh, here. Ian, the credit. Nope. None of these are us. Okay, so this is the boss. It's gonna get tricky. We're gonna throw our bomb out when they get here. Put the herd on it. Come on, you boss. Throw the bomb. Did it. Wow. Two. See, you can't actually. You can't actually, like, hit the dang thing. Oh, but you can hit that guy. But because of the line of sight stuff... It's like, really difficult. Like, come on, man. Why can't I not hit this entire ship? It, see? Now I died. What a pain in the booty. I mean, sometimes it's cool and makes games a little, like, quirky to have these mechanics, but this one is particularly annoying. Now, this game did have a day one patch, so I don't know how it worked before the game came to fruition here, as it were. Um, but uh, if there were any problems before the patch, I don't know about it, because I patched it immediately. Can I sell you something? Well... We could buy a spell. See ya. I think we're going to save our money. I want to at least try to get to the next boss. Which means we're basically just going to keep whacking everything. Okay. I'm curious how we're going to handle the tentacle boys. I think we can kill them before they kill us, which is nice. that wasn't us and this girl's kind of cool because she attacks so fast and she does so much damage you can actually just kind of stand in the middle and be like whoa which way do I need to go with my attack right now right so that's kind of neat and screw those guys so I would say this is my my second my second favorite character the wizard being number well actually you know what I might actually bump her up to number one just because of the shooting mechanics being a pain in the butt. And yeah, let's do that. She does a lot of damage, fast, furious, all that. Uh, I am error. Oh god. I wonder if that's an actual error in the game. That would be pretty, pretty genius. <laughs> kind of a cover in your butt. Like, well, we need a name, but we don't have a default one. Let's just call it error, dude. We'll be, we'll be super edgy like that easy but what I do like is like how fast it gets going and then with this character particularly you can just kind of whirlwind your way through everything and there's just moments where the whole screen is just like exploding in guts and monster stuff and it's awesome if they added online to this with like four people zoomed out the perspective a little bit that would be sweet that wasn't us either get out of here with that well, now that we've committed to uh, smacking everything immediately, we're doing much better. Okay, I need to destroy this thing. Get out of here, dude. I can't tell if this thing's causing them to keep coming or not. I don't think so, but hey, I don't know. Her dagger does seem to do at least one hit. Okay, come on, boys. 
skeletons. Oh, they finally hit me. That's not us either, dude. We have found a bomb. I love the voices. The voices are great. And like I said, local co-op for this, awesome. Palmyr Life. Okay. Thank you. I wonder if I actually gave it, like... I mean, I, I must have given it the name, like, Switch Underground, right? I mean, what else would I have given it? I looked it up, but I forgot what I put. These little fire things, though, can go straight to hell. Screw that. Oh, I see. The red thing's actually kind of like a power meter that goes up, like maybe like a stamina thing. Cause I can't I can't use my I can't use my whirlwind until it goes away. So yeah, I have no idea how that works. Like I said, the game could definitely use a manual. Especially to tell you what the heck those powers do. I mean one's pretty obvious, it's probably health or defense or something, but God knows. We said and there's the the one with the lightning bolt? No idea. And I don't think there's like any help anywhere. Eric, fight. Oh my god, stay out of the fire. We're gonna die again. Do we, do we have any lives left? I don't think we do, do we? I can't tell if that's like a zero or nothing. I think it's zero. Oh no, I really needed my... I really needed my dash there. I think we're getting close to the boss. Oh my god, please be a potion. Oh my, it's a potion, but it fell off the map. You gotta be effing kidding me. I needed that so bad. Oh, now we're dead. Sorry guys, I guess we're not making it to the boss today. Well, that's all I wanted to do, uh, show the game a little bit and uh, show you what was in my Kickstarter thing here. And uh, that's it, man. I'm going to just show the wizard's abilities really fast because he has a really funny one. His, uh, his, uh, his physical attack is actually whapping him with the beard, which is pretty funny. And he can teleport. He doesn't attack when he teleports that I think. I don't think he does. Let's test it. If we teleport into some enemies, let's see if they die. Give me an enemy. Oh, actually, yes, they do. Nice. But I mean, he, like his attack is so freaking fast, dude. And it's like super powerful. I'll, I like it a lot, especially in co-op mode. And sometimes when you find chicken, you find chicken. And who doesn't love chicken? But yeah, that... Uh, that line of sight is unforgiving, dude. Just so you know. It doesn't it doesn't specifically make it less fun. It's just something that you have to think about that you really shouldn't have to think about, you know? It's like this little extra thing. But you know, every game's got their little thing. So I'm okay with it. Theodore Chisdy. That's funny. And I'm sure there's like little hidden things around there has to be like some of these trees like there's like a hidden chest behind some of them see right here how difficult it is to hit that like I cannot hit that from here shouldn't I be able to anywhere on this log oh right here there's a sweet spot right in the corner I mean who needs that in their life not me I'm, I'm only keeping going because I want to see if any of these guys are named after me. I just, I gotta know. Robert Kimmel, Captain Lumpy. Alright, that's gonna do it, guys. Uh, be good to each other. Uh, videos should start rolling out here as I get more time and I had a land party, blah, 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 blah. Excuses, excuse, YouTuber garbage that you've heard a thousand times. But I mean, the bottom line is, didn't make the videos, dude. And, uh, hey, that's how it goes, man, sometimes. But, um, sorry, I'm getting distracted here. All right, that's it, I'm stopping. I'll be good to each other, and I will see you guys 
in the next one. If you did get the game and you're playing, I'm curious uh, what you guys are thinking of it. And uh, how many levels are there? That's the question, is it not? Like, I almost wish I could do like, I had done like an entire run just to, you know, see. But uh, as you can see, the challenge is gonna just be ramping up here, so. And how do you buy extra lives? Is one of those things in the store an extra life? Oh my God, would I buy that? But it ain't the lightning bolt. I can tell you that much. I saved up for the most expensive thing in the shop and it wasn't an extra life. So I don't even know what it does. Maybe it gives you like more power or something. Evan Greenwood. Joaquin Viegas. All right, take care.